Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a full face of Milani makeup. I had a comment from one of you a couple of months back saying something along the lines of Milani knocking it out of the park. I think it might have been in reference to their lip gloss, but I started to think to myself, you know what? Milani knocks a lot of things out of the park. I feel like they are one of those drugstore brands that has so many hits and as I started thinking about the things that I own from Milani, I not just owned almost an entire full face of Milani brand makeup, but a lot of these are some of my very favorite products from each of these categories. So I thought, you know what, why not do a full face of Milani makeup? So that's what we're doing today. I did have to pick up two things to complete a full face worth of makeup, including their concealer, which I've been dying to try and have heard good things about, and also a mascara from them. For any of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave. And if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look and see what products from Milani I really love, let's go ahead and get into it. So kicking things off with a primer, we're going to go in with the Milani Soft Focus Glow. I have talked quite a bit about this on my channel. I've mentioned that I have heard a few people compare this to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't think they're dupes for each other, but I can see why people think that they do similar things. I do like this a lot. I think it sits really nicely on the skin. My only real complaint with it is the fact that it separates, which I've mentioned several times, but often when I pump it out, it kind of, the liquid separates from the luminizing part. And I don't think it's because it's going bad. I really just think it's something about the ingredients that are inside of here just tend to separate. And that's just something to be aware of. Now we're gonna jump into foundation and we're gonna use one of my favorites. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Today I'm gonna go in with the shade 01 Vanilla. I'm gonna take that on my Luxie Round Top Blender and just blend that in. I have quite a bit to cover today. Still recovering from Pinchageddon last week. I still have quite a few little marks on my face, but I know that this foundation can handle it. All right, and now we're gonna be trying out something new that I've been wanting to try out for a very long time, and it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I've heard so many good things about this. I finally grabbed this at my Walmart today just so that I had enough things to do this video, and I'm really excited to give it a try. Concealer is one of those things, though, even when I have several in my rotation, I know that I'll probably get through most of them because I use it on a daily basis. We're also gonna be using this as an eyeshadow primer today. I did want to pick up the Milani eyeshadow primer because I know so many people love that one. I have not even tried it out yet, but I was really trying to avoid spending too much on things that I didn't really need, and I definitely don't need another eyeshadow primer right now. I have several that are open and that I really like, so that one's going to have to wait. I'm just going to blend that in with this Moda Mythical Crease Brush. I love this brush for concealer. It does work pretty well for a crease brush as well, but I actually prefer using it for concealer. I'm just going to take kind of what's left and pull that onto the eyelid as a primer. I forgot to mention, I got the shade 115 Light Nude. I was going back and forth between this shade and the shade 120. This one I think is perfect for under my eyes. I kind of wish I would have gone with 120 because I think it would have matched the perimeter of my face a little bit better. Okay, and I don't have a setting powder, so I'm just going to go into the Soft and Sultry palette, actually, and we're going to take this kind of creamy shade right here. It's just a matte shadow, and I'm going to use that to really set down that primer on the eyes. Or not primer, concealer. So to finish off the complexion, we're going to go into bronzer next. I'm going to take the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 01 Sunlight. I love this bronzer. It's been a little while since I've used it. Just because I've been using a lot of different bronzers, I've been trying quite a few different bronzers over the last several months, and I'm excited to dip back into this thing. So today, I'm going to also take that Moda Mythical Brush, and we're just going to really load it up on there. This is a pretty firmly pressed bronzer, so I find that you can really be pretty aggressive with your brush and loading it up. And I also think it's not super dark or pigmented to where it's easy to get out of hand with it. It's just a really nice bronzer. I did just realize as I was pulling things out for this video that I did not grab a brow product from them. But I figure between the several eyeshadow palettes that I have, I think that I can probably find a powder that I can make work in my brows. It has been a while since I used powder in my brows, but we're gonna give it a try today. So for blush today, it was between Luminoso, which I really actually wanted to use 
luminoso but the eye look that we're going to do today is a little bit more cool toned so i think i'm going to go in with this one this is their powder blush in the color 08 t rose i love this blush they are so adorable and they perform really well and it's been a while since i've used this color this is just a really good neutral leaning slightly on the cool side kind of pink and it looks good with pretty much any eye look i'm just taking that on my Real Techniques blush brush, and we're just going to lightly kind of dust that back. I might have gotten a little heavy handed. We'll blend that out at the end if I feel like it's still a little bit overly pigmented. But let's move on to highlighter. So I don't have a highlighter from Milani. I thought about grabbing one. I have heard some good things about some of their highlighting singles and also their highlighting palette. But I really wanted to minimize the things I was picking up and just try and use what I have. So I thought I could find an eyeshadow that might work as a highlighter. So I'm going to go into this palette. This is their Everyday Eyes palette in the Must Have Naturals version. So I'm thinking either this shade right here, which is kind of a shimmery sort of satin champagne that might be really pretty or we might even mix that with a little bit of this kind of pink champagne color so i think i want to combine those two i'm going to take my luxie highlighting brush and i'm going to dip it very carefully because this is next to a black that makes me nervous a little bit into that one a little bit into this one kind of tap it off I feel like it's less intimidating to start on the nose okay that's definitely working might be a little intense but Now let's move into the eyebrows. So I'm also going to take the Must Have Naturals palette and I think I'm going to combine these two matte shades right here. This medium tone brown and this very light ashy brown. And I'm going to take just an angled brush. This one is from, I think I got it at Marshalls. It's a Cala brand, just flat angled brush. I just want to combine those two shades. I'm going to kind of wipe them on the back of my hand. And then just, oh boy. That still might have been a little dark. Ooh. This powder, hopefully it blends out. Ooh. Maybe I should have just gone with the light one. <laughs> kind of a more natural looking brow, which I really like. And I don't have a brow setter, so we're just going to have to say a little prayer and hope that they stay in place for a while. Okay, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and jump into eyeshadow now. So I pulled all of my gold palettes out. I have not used these for a little while, and I love these palettes so much. I love all of them. So I went through each of these palettes before this video and just kind of finger swatched some things just to see what I was feeling like today. And I think I landed on this one mostly. We're going to dip into the most loved mattes and I'm really kind of feeling this purple center column right here. So I really want to create a nice, soft, pretty purple halo eye. So we're going to use this palette for that and I am going to use some shimmer on the inner lid which will either be probably this pink in here or maybe this kind of pink champagne in the Bold Obsessions palette. I think we'll probably do that. I also don't have an actual liner from them, so I think we're going to use the black inside this palette because this is such a great black, and I think there's one even in the Soft and Sultry, which is also a good black, but we'll see. Maybe we'll go into Soft and Sultry so I can get some use out of that one too. Why not use four of the five palettes that I have from Milani if I can, right? So we're going to kick things off by going into the Most Loved Mattes palette. We're going to take this top light pink right here. I think I'm going to combine that with the light purple to create kind of my transition color. And I'm going to put that above my crease and I want it to kind of touch this outer part of my brow. I'm almost imagining that I want shadow everywhere except for right under this tiny area right there because that's really the only part that I want highlighted. All right, so now I'm going to take on that same brush, but more on the tip of it than on the side. We're going to dip into just the darker light purple, so the second row down. And we're going to put that more, not necessarily right in the crease, but just barely above it. So a little bit lower down, a little bit more concentrated right in this kind of shadow area and slightly above. And I hope that I can pull off the halo eye with a matte eyeshadow because I usually do it with either a satin or a shimmer. So, hope this goes okay. Why don't we start with this brush. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's just their little flat, it's like a little concealer brush. I'm going to take the third purple down and we're just going to kind of start just lightly packing that on this outer corner right here. We will blend this out a little bit, but I'm just kind of placing the color first just to get an idea. 
we'll soften that shape in a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit more of that on my brush and we're going to go into the inner corner. I know this line is a little bit harsh right now, but we will come in and blend that in just a minute. I'm just really worrying about the shape right now. I know this is looking a little crazy on camera. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M507 brush. This is a clean brush. And I'm just very lightly going to blend around just the outer edges of where that darker shade is just to kind of soften things up just a little bit. And then I'm going to wipe it off again before I go into this part. And this part, I just want to really lightly blend. I actually don't want this color to go too far in because I don't want any shadowing on this section right here. So I just very lightly am kind of going up and down right on that very innermost edge. Some of that line on that inner section right there will kind of naturally get blurred when we put our inner corner shade on. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm getting ready to film maybe a couple of holiday, like Christmas party type makeup looks. I really want to do one with the Tati Beauty palette because I feel like that palette was meant to be played with at Christmas time or New Year's. But let me know what other kind of looks you guys would like to see. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that level of depth right now. I do want to go in and just take the tiniest bit of this dark kind of burgundy purpley brown down here. I'm going to take that on my Morphe M507 now that I've pretty much blended all of that out. I know the middle part doesn't look super blended, but that's going to be covered up anyway, so I'm not too worried about the middle part. I'm just going to take that on the very tip of the brush, and we're just very lightly going to start applying that just on this outer corner right here. So now I think I want to take a little bit of this purple right here. I did wipe off my Morphe M507 brush. I just, I don't want the spotlight in the center to be too stark. So I'm going to add a little bit of this just all the way across the lid. And then we'll put that spotlighted kind of shimmery shade on the center. Just so it's not quite as harsh of a halo eye. I kind of like when they're a little bit more subtle. All right, now we're going to dip into the Bold Obsessions palette. And I'm going to take... This shade right here, which is kind of like a slightly pink toned champagne shimmer. And then we're just going to pop that on the center of the lid. Okay, now I'm going to take my Morphe M507 again. I did just wipe it off. And we're going to take a little bit of this second purple right there. And I'm just going to lightly go around the edge of that halo right across the top and also the inner edge. Like I got rid of a little too much on this side, I'm just gonna go back into the shimmer and add just a little bit more and then try again. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss brush. I do wanna just add a little bit more up onto my brow bone here. I'm gonna take these two colors together. We're just very lightly gonna add those right above my crease. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into the Most Love Mattes palette. I'm going to combine these two middle purples together, and I'm going to run that just under the outer two-thirds of my lower lash line. So I'm wiping off that flat kind of concealer brush from Alamer Cosmetics that I used. I'm going to go into the Bold Obsessions palette. We're going to take that champagne color again. I'm going to pop that on the inner corner and kind of right in this little bottom tear duct area, tear duct. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of liner. We're going to go into the Soft and Sultry palette. We'll combine these two right here. I did wet my brush just a little bit, and we're just going to do a little bit of a shadow wing liner right here. Pretty. So I do want to add a little bit of brow bone highlight. I know I always forget this step, but because I bothered to put my shadow up a little higher my brow bone, we are going to highlight my brow bone today, and we're going to add a little bit of this color. It's kind of a milky white color. This is from the Soft and Sultry palette. I'm just putting a little bit of that on this Luxie Large Shadow 209. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that right under the arch of my brow. All right, and now for mascara. So I picked up this. This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. They had a couple of different mascaras and I could not remember which was the one that I've heard good things about. I hope I picked right. I hope it was this one. So looking at this, this wand reminds me a lot of the original 
the Luminous Mascara. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Alright guys, so here are the finished eyes. That is actually a pretty dramatic mascara. My eyelashes look pretty dang big. I did put two coats on and I think the second coat is really what kind of took them over the top. So I'm excited to keep playing with this. I will have to let you guys know how it wears, if it ends up smudging or flaking, how it removes, all of that good stuff. I'll try and keep you guys updated on. But for now we are just about done. Let's move into the lips. So one of the places I think Milani really shines, other than their cheek products, and their eyeshadows is definitely their lip products. I have been a longtime fan of their lip liner specifically. They're some of my very favorites, even amongst my higher end lip liners. I am also in love, as many other people are, with their Keep It Full lip glosses. And I also really love their lipsticks. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do on the lips today. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of these and just kind of figure it out. But these are the ones that I have pulled out. I did end up picking up a new shade of the lip gloss because I had one in the shade Champagne that was one of my favorites. Haven't used it for a little over a month and I cannot find it anywhere. I turned my house literally pretty much inside out and could not find it. So I went and grabbed another one and I grabbed a different shade. This one is in the shade Luminoso just in case it ends up showing up. And if not, I think this is a really pretty shade. It's a nice pink with a bit of a gold reflect to it which I think is going to look really nice with this eye. Let's start off by going in with a lip liner. So I do want to swatch both of these for you guys so you can see the difference. I kind of use these interchangeably but they are slightly different. This first one is in the color 03 Nude. That is it right there. This one is all natural which has a little more brown in it I would say. This one is a little more of like a pinky nude. Why don't we go in with 03, the one that has a little bit of pink in it. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips And now for lipstick. Let me just swatch a couple for you guys. This is a newer one to me. This is in the color I Am Smart. This is one of their bold matte lipsticks. This is it right here. This might be a little bit more kind of like a warm rosy tone than I want to go with. I also have this color right here, which is maybe what I'm leaning towards. This is number 17 Plum Rose. It's a little bit deeper than I typically like to do on my lips, but it does have a little bit more of like a purpley pink. Actually, let me check this one too. This is the color Matte Blissful, which is definitely a cooler tone, kind of Barbie pink. That's definitely going to be a little bit too bright. Let's go ahead and go in with Plum Rose. And I think I'm just going to apply a very light amount of that. Just, I'm just going to press that in with my finger. And that is still a little more pink than I want it, so we're going to go in with this color. This is one of my favorite lipsticks to lighten things up in the center. This is the color 06 Matte Innocence. You can see it's a little bit lighter. This is definitely one of those concealer lips if you were to use this all by itself. But it does work really nicely on top of other lipsticks. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of blend those two together. But now we're going to try out the Luminoso lip gloss. Let me just swatch this for you guys. I love the shade Champagne. That's a little bit more of like a milky color. This one is more of a pink with a really obvious kind of gold reflect to it. Oh, this looks so pretty. So I'm going to pop that on top. I'm going to kind of just like blend everything together. And then we're going to set it all in with some setting spray. I do have the Make It Dewy setting spray. Now this is a very dewy setting spray. In fact, I would call this an oilier setting spray. If you have oily skin, I would stay far, far away from this stuff because it does have a somewhat oily consistency to it. It smells incredible and I do love using this, especially kind of on the perimeter of my face. So I'm going to kind of cover the center of my face because again, this is a little bit, a little bit on the oily side. I'm just going to miss kind of the sides of my face. Alright you guys, and with that, that is it for today's full face of Milani makeup. I really love how this look turned out. I love how the eyes turned out. They actually are not as purple as I thought they would be, but I kind of like that. I like that there's just kind of a hint of purple there. I do love a good halo eye, and these shadows are just so easy to work with. It was so fun to play with them again today. Let me know what is your favorite thing from Milani, especially if it is something that maybe I have not tried yet. Be sure to leave that in the comments below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Any of you that are new to my channel or that maybe have just not hit that subscribe button yet, I would love for you to do that before you leave. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you again, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye. Just say tear duck, ducked, not duck. 
What's up? Um, this is gonna sound kind of tacky, but can I dye my hair? What? They said they'd give me twenty dollars if I did it. What? Do you know anything about um, hair dye? The girls do. Hair dye. Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Yeah, is twenty bucks worth a shaved head? Yes. What? Are you that I'm desperate? Broke. That desperate for money? I don't know. I might give you twenty bucks not to do it. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Here's really? no. But here's the deal. If you do it, and if it looks really bad, we have to buzz cut your hair. So are you okay with the risk of a possible buzz cut? I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you make the decision, but just be warned. Things can go disastrously wrong. But I guess it's your hair. Okay. I guess it's your hair. You do what you want to. Do. I'm just warning okay. you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.